All right, people, welcome back, Car Review. So today we are looking at a pretty interesting continuous trap card for Synchro Monsters. This card is called Chasing Wings. So stay before it's a continuous trap card that reads, Activate this card by targeting one Synchro Monster you control. It cannot be destroyed by battle or by your opponent's card effect. At the start of the damage trap, if that monster battles an opponent's monster level 5 or higher, you can destroy that monster, and if you do, your battling monster gains attack equal to the destroyed monster's original attack until the end of this turn. If that monster leaves the field, destroy this card. So do you know what I really like about this card? That first effect, it pretty much makes every synchro monster a Beals. Because probably one of the best things about Beals and the reason why you win it is because it's a nice beefy 3000 meter that for some reason 3000 but it can't be destroyed by battle and it can't be destroyed by card effect. It's probably the main reason why everybody was like oh my god Bill's so good Bill's so broken and why it got jumped onto the hype train. Now you can essentially make every single synchro monster that by simply just equipping the synchro monster with this continuous trap card and uh, making it nice and powerful. So I totally do not mind that. I actually really like that. Uh, the whole battling a uh, level 5 or higher monster and destroying it game the attack, I mean, definitely that kind of seems like it has more synergy with uh, Clear Wing, which I'm assuming, you know, Chasing Wing, Clear Wing, uh, they probably have some synergy, and I do remember seeing that episode in an anime where you go play this card on his uh, Clear Wing, and you already know, Clear Wing's like, yeah, if you activate a level 5 or higher effect, I'm gonna, you know, negate you, destroy you, and gain your attack. And if you try to target me with a monster effect, I'm going to negate you, destroy you, and gain your attack. And this is like, hey, if I battle you, I'm going to destroy you and gain your attack. So, Clearwing is just all over this card. Like, you just go ahead and put this on Clearwing, and you just got to negate and destroy and gain that attack. So, that's not too terrible. I really don't see this effect going off that often because it's kind of like... It, only time I see this is if your opponent summons a level 5 or higher that's higher than your attack, then you can just be like, alright, well, you know, I can't destroy a battle or, or by card effect, so I'm just going to go ahead and run into your level 5 or higher. You know, you're destroyed, I'm getting your attack till the end phase. But I don't really see much use out of that. And of course, that monster is a field destroy this card. So, I actually like this better than uh, Safe Zone. You know, Safe Zone was actually, you know, being used at one point where it's like, oh, well, you know, my monster can't be destroyed and, uh, well, you can still target the monster, of course, but, you know, if you put this in a clearing, you know, you can't be targeted by a monster effect, but you can still be targeted by, you know, a spell or a trap, but, uh, this is not bad. I definitely like it better than safe zone, and if you go ahead and put this with maybe, like, a start of spark, I can definitely see some power, you know, you know, but just be like, all right, you know, you gotta get through double, because, of course, the Synchro Monster can't be destroyed by battle or by card effect, but then can still hit you directly, unlike what Safe Zone does. So, yeah, you, know, you gotta go ahead and handle this first. You gotta kind of, like, MST or get rid of this card first, and then handle a Synchro Monster on top of that, which is pretty strong. Then you got Spark being, like, once per turn, I'm gonna go ahead and block this from destruction. That's not bad. So, I actually kind of like this card. I think that maybe if you're running in a, in a, in a Synchro deck that can pull off Synchro plays consistency, it's not a terrible card to play. I'd play like maybe one or two. You know, I don't want to clog it with three. You don't want to open up with this and then not have a Synchro play and this card be dead. But if you can have a consistent way of busting out a Synchro monster, this card is not bad. I mean, just straight up being, uh, not be able to just be destroyed by battle or by card effect, pretty much essentially turning any Synchro monster into a Beals is enough incentive to run this card. You know, the whole destroying the level 5 or higher monster and gaining its attack is just a, you know, the cherry on top. Being able to just be like, hey, I summon a Synchro Monster, and your opponent's like, oh, you have a Synchro Monster? Uh, should all fusion send the lights in the dark? Ha! Ah, construct. Ah, construct attack. And you're just like, chasing wings? <laughs> That'd be funny, because of course, you can't be destroyed by battle or by card effect, so construct won't kill you. So then you go into battle at the start of the damage step, you're gonna go ahead and destroy the construct, which is like, construct is like, what? <laughs> construct dies, you get in that turning attack, of course, they still go ahead and get their fusion back. But, you just literally just handled a construct with a synchro monster, and that's probably one of, uh, one of the Shadal's few uh, weaknesses, you know? Usually, your opponent summons something from the extra deck, you can just be like, alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and Shadal Fusion and go into construct, construct can handle this, but if your opponent summons a Beals, you're like, fuck! So how about you just turn all synchro monsters into a Beal and handle that situation just like that? So yes, I really do like this card. So tell me what you guys think about this card. This card, Chasing Wings. And uh, tell me if you, whatever synchro deck you win, whether it be, you know, Yang Zings or, you know, uh, Psy Frames or just, you know, your good old synchro deck, your good old junk, doppel, whatever deck, go ahead and tell me how many of these would you run in there? 
Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this card view. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and yeah, I will see you guys next Monday with another card to look at. Alright people, thanks for watching.